Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. This is Phoenix Anka coming to you live right now, but not live when you see me, but I will, but I am live. Just want to let you know that while I was typing the description for this particular video, there were earthquakes still coming in for the Philippines. They had like three and they actually downgraded two of them while I was still typing the same description for the video that, that you're looking at right now. So they are still having earthquakes. And so I originally started this video for 168, seven earthquakes, you know, because that's what the count was at the time. And I still have the website up where you can see it. However, they've had like three earthquakes since then. They may have had another one, but I had to cut everything off. As you can see on my screen on the right hand bottom corner, there is a 4.8 that came in while I was still typing. So this was the last one that came in. This is where, where you see on the screen right now is where I was at the time that I had last looked at this website. So let's see what's transpired. Philippines had one here. Let's see, let me scoot this over for you. They had one here and it looked like it was a 4.2. It was in the islands. So they, they, they've had so much stuff going on everyone. It's, it's just unbelievable. Let's see here. Um, what okay let's see any more any more i know there's more because there's like a 4.9 here's a 4.2 here's a 4.2 that happened and here's a 5.0 that happened now i'm showing you this prior to being to showing you the map because i want you to see the condensed earthquakes that are happening all in one generalized area which is very 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 bad because that means that there will be more damage that's just happening in the same area over and over again. So I really want to show that to you. The next after that, what I want to show you are the counts and the stats of how many earthquakes have actually uh, transpired. And while wow, we're still getting updates right now. Okay, we're at the very top. Well, let me go ahead and show this to you right now because it's very important. I want you to see all these different people that have actually responded. That's what these blue boxes are. They're actually, and yellow boxes, they're people that have responded to an earthquake. Now, an hour ago, they had a 4.4. This was the last time that I had looked at this because I started, you know, working on things as far as the video is concerned. Now, when I click, you're going to look at this. This is unbelievable. This cluster of earthquakes in this one generalized area is unbelievable. That is a cluster. If there was another word I could use, I'd use it. And this is the large 7.0 that they had. And they've had large ones since then. There's the 5.0 that happened 46 minutes ago. And they keep having, they keep having all these different earthquakes and they're back to back. That's what's so, so bad about it. Now this one here happened 13 hours ago. But I'm not going to go in on all of these, but you get a general idea that all of this is happening all in one generalized area. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Now, we already know that they had the 7.3, 7.0. You remember it was revised. So it did come in as a 7.3 for EMSC. Uh, but however, I guess USGS are capable of telling people to, to downgrade them. And so, I, I don't know, it's a very strange thing. But they went ahead and took that down. Now, they did have a lower one, which was a 2.1. Now, this is the big one right here. Do you see where my cursor is? Past 24 hours, 167 earthquakes. It's right there. 167 earthquakes we're not talking about small ones now we're going to go across this one line we don't need to go through all of this together but because i'll have all this in the description for you so that way you can look at all the stats of all the magnitudes ranging from the last 24 hours all the way down to the first the last year so that way you can look at all the stats but they had 167 75 were two uh, magnitude or higher 48 were three and higher. Seven was four and higher. Two was five and higher. They didn't have any six magnitude earthquakes in the last 24 hours, but they did have the seven, the big whopper, the seven. If all of these numbers don't add up to 167, that's because it was below 2.0. But they have, have definitely have it recorded officially. 
that they had 167 earthquakes at the time that I called it that they had 167. Now they have more. Now let's do this so we can check and see, see if we can do this. Look at that. So as of the end of this video, they had 175 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. 175. So that's what I'm going to change the video to is 175 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. You were a witness with me right as I saw it myself. Let's all say a prayer for everyone in the Philippines. Our hearts go out to them. And um, because they have had a lot of damage with buildings and all ca and caving in, some collapsing. And they have had four people pass away and they've had 60 injuries reported at least 13 hours ago. That was the last report that I saw that was released. Now I'm sure there will be further updates and hopefully there's not more casualties that are involved in this or hopefully no one else is injured. But I want you to um, have a great day despite this going on. And I want to thank you for coming to my channel. I so appreciate all of you and subscribers. I appreciate you so much. I, it just feels really good to be passionate about earthquakes and volcanoes and nature. And to see that there's other people that also are inspired by it too. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for coming.